I just have to wait for everything to straighten out. And right, we are live. Hopefully, right. Hello and welcome to back to Star Ocean First Departure with the Flighty Otaku. And if I feel a little bit off, well, even after about six, seven hours. It's about seven or so hours sleep. I'm not in the best mood. I'm not in the best of states. Right, I think I've already done all of this, so... Okay, so that's the way we came from. No! Ugh. Yeah. Oh, because we got everyone. This is horrible. We got everyone back together. Yeah. I think Still I'm going to get rid of Seus. Oh damn it, he keeps on getting that getting injured. Uh, tactics, strategy, no. Uh, replace. Replace Seus. Um Let's put in Mavel. Right, so let's... So I want all of these to be... Level 3. Right. Ah... Ilya's equipment has been optimized. So that was something for her. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Save. And in the combat. 
Oh, what a pain! I suppose fighting is the only option. Okay, that was, um... Yeah, Aaron, screw you! Alright. <laughs> uh, Raven Orb. Flare Orb, Hail Orb, Thunder Orb. <laughs> All right. Is it so I won't have any regrets later. Right. Uh I thought Mavelle was a Increases a uh, hit power and attack moon rock. Yeah, where do you think you was going? Extra level, got up at level. This ought to be a good fight. Here they come. Oh, 
Holy crap, Mavel! I hope you're watching, Father. I think I'm gonna have to curb her use of arts. Tactic, strategy. Uh, save your special arts. If that's ever gonna do anything. We have company. I suppose fighting is the only option. Yeah. Out. Oh. Yeah, those like those ones are actually uh, a real pain in the neck, especially with that eruption magic. Thank you for that. Those 100 ton weights. There's no turning that was out of 10. Alright, and onwards we go. We have company. This ought to be a good fight. Right. Yeah, thank you for that, me, but, uh, Millie. And uh, again, with the mass of 100 ton weight. Let's meet with a king first. Do you think he'd allow a bunch of total strangers to see him? I mean, that would be like me asking to see the president. Well, what else can we do? It's not like we've got an in with anyone. No, I suppose not. <laughs> oh, I doubt there are that many people jumping at the opportunity to fight with the Archfiend. I reckon it'll be much easier than you expect. That is a good point. Ain't it? Right. Um. Right. Let's. Um, go and rest.
And how do they put up that security checkpoint? It's the first I've heard of it. Okay, so... Uh... Right, I'm guessing we're heading up here. Stay your business, strangers. We're here to slay the Archfiend. Can you let us see the king? You. I apologize for the trouble. Reports have come in lately indicating a rise in monster activity. Deathwing? Yes, several years ago. There was a string of killings targeting important officials at the hands of the so-called Deathwing, a Featherfolk girl. We haven't heard of any sightings lately, but the Death king has to stay on guard nonetheless. Yes, the Featherfolk girl. Uh, let's just say we might have some links here with Yoshua. The Featherfolk girl? How could one of my kind do such a thing? I don't want to believe it myself. But we have multiple eyewitnesses. You people are a rare sight down here. I have a feeling that's Yoshua's sister. Ah, you must be the volunteers. Please come in. The king is waiting. These are the ones you spoke of? They are, my lord. I hear that you have stepped up to vanquish Asmodeus, the Archfiend. Yes, sir. And do you have confidence in your chances of accomplishing this feat? I wouldn't know, sir. Hmm. Fair enough. If you were the sort who boasted of sure victory against the Unknown, I would have dismissed you immediately. <laughs> Very well. I should like to test you first, however. There's no point continuing unless I am confident of your skill. Oh my, this must be the first time in years that we've done this. <laughs> Indeed. Bring them to the trial chamber. The trial chamber? You'll see soon enough. <sighs> Wait, do we go in here? Oh, not that door. That will come later. Later? Oh, uh, never mind. Just a bit of local lore. Getting back to business, we must determine how far your abilities can take you. Go through this door and do whatever it takes to reach the exit safely. Complete the task and the trial is over. If you find it insurmountable, you may return here at any time. I will be waiting at the exit. Right, so we have to get through here. We have company. I suppose fighting is the only option. Meteor Top Lord! Oh, that's an advantage. Millie is actually, uh... Millie was actually casting deck defense boosts on every, on each person. Amulet to flexibility. Thank you very much, Millie! 
And thank goodness for good speed and power burst! <laughs> Where there is light, there is shadow. We better brace ourselves. Here they come! Explosive kick! Explosive guard! What the heck is going on with controls? Yeah, because that says where there is light, there is shadow. They're behind us. They're behind us. Alright. again with the thousand ton weight Save point, single use items, blackberries, So, um, so that's going to be the last door we go through. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. True power shall not reveal itself in the light.
Okay. It says the true path shall, will not reveal itself in the... Uh, so I think we unlock this door and we get this. The true path shall not reveal itself in the light. Alright, so this says the true power shall not reveal itself in the light. Hopefully I should be able to recall the Star Ocean first... Uh... Oh, yeah, god damn it. Uh, PSP. Uh, by Alpha. Right, Star Ocean first departure. Yes. Okay, so twelve point zero two point twelve. All right, so zero two point twelve. Okay, God damn this. <sighs> Refresh the page. <sighs> right, zero two point twelve. I'm gonna have to scroll down the entire flipping. P right. I'm going to purge the cache and start again. Alright, so 0 
And I'm gonna have to scroll through this manually. Uh. Oh joy. Uh. All right. Right. Safe point clue. Right. There is light, there is shadow. Yeah, the true path lies in the shadows. Yeah, the true path shall not reveal itself in the light. Okay, so... Ah, right, so we have to reverse what we've done. Let's reload. Right.
Wait, did I get that? Get the right door. I just got this wrong. Let's try this again. Right. So I've toggled that switch. Right, next is this one. Next is this one. And then this one. That opens the door. Which gives us this clue, true path shall not reveal itself in the light. Right, so how this guide reads it is these doors read A, B, C, D, E, F from left to right. Although the clue has us going from right to left. So we're going to do this. We are going to turn A off, go to the C door, turn that on, go to D, turn that off, go here and turn that on. Oh, right. Just to open the middle door, press them again to turn them off, and press the switches needed to open the stairs. Right, so... That one is off. That one is off. Right, so I'm going to turn all of these off and then turn on the... Yeah, that one is off already.
Right, so let's do this in the order from this side. So that is that switch. That switch. This switch. This should have been left on. Right. Yeah, and that has opened this door. So we're going to go quickly back to here. Update the save file. Close this. Bring back up the chat bot. And we've ended up with another. Everyone ready? get going. Uh, we need to head this way. Thank you. <sighs> How many years has it been since a human last strolled by? Where are you? Where do you think? I'm right here. Yep. Enemies. We're surrounded. To lay into the big ass. Yeah, that wasn't working for you, Millie. Get back to dropping foul a hundred ton weights on him. Okay, so Mavel's attack were having no effect on him. Wait, did that just say chicken shish kebab? That must have been the master of the dungeon. Come on, let's make a break for the exit. Right. And we're still gonna get Behind her. Us. Behind us! Oh, and we just lost Mavel. Uh, that was. And we're going to have to kill Mavel. 
Uh, items, single use, resurrection elixir. Good thing I have those handy. And another random encounter. Look out! I suppose fighting is the only option. Uh, you keep dropping those those down those a hundred ton weights. <laughs> and I think the Val got the uh God speed in. Oh my, astounding! You actually made it through the labyrinth. Please let us return to the king immediately. Yep, we got through. Brilliantly done. You are more than powerful enough to deal unequal terms with the demon world. Thank you, sir. But there is another issue. Specifically, the location of the Demon World entrance, and how to open it. Both are closely guarded secrets, not to be shared freely with just anyone. <laughs> As a rule, the Demon World entrance cannot be opened from this side. One may only open it, if coming from the Demon World itself. There was once someone foolhardy enough to enter the Demon World. He returned, albeit near death. His story revealed exactly how appropriate the term Demon World really is. He said it was a truly frightful place, one that he could scarcely believe even existed. Do you still wish to continue? Yes, sir. Very well. Your Majesty, are you saying there's no way whatsoever to open the entrance from this side? Not as a rule, mind you. There are ways to break that rule, of course. After all, it was people on our side that first established a connection between our world and the demon world. On our side? Yes. People call them the old race. I'm sure all of you have heard some tales about them. Their real name is the Mua. The Mua? Is that the same Mua as the name of the kingdom? Legend has it, they named the land they were created on after themselves. To put it another way, they first lived in the area now known as the Muan Kingdom. So they called themselves the Mua from the very beginning? Correct. Another legend says the Mua did not grow from children, but appeared on the land as fully grown adults. They were incarnated by the will of the gods, taking up the name given to them. So, they just appeared one day? That can't actually be true. The old race created a secret treasure, and used it to open a gate to another world. The demon world. What did they do that for? It sounds almost like suicide. Sadly, their motives have not survived in the legends we have today. The treasure they made is known as the Eye of Truth. It is said to be a gem, scarlet in color, about the size of your fist. The Eye of Truth. They say whoever holds it can look into whatever he wishes. I am familiar with the rumors, yes. I'm sure there are those who pin their hopes on the Eye of Truth seeing it as the answer to all their problems. The Mua shared information on the whereabouts of the Eye with the royal houses of four kingdoms. That way, no one could get his hands on the treasure unless he learned the total sum of information that all four kingdoms received. So if there ever was some kind of emergency that required the use of the Eye of Truth, you'd need the cooperation of all four different kingdoms? Precisely. And since I have already shared all this with you, I now officially charge you with the top secret duty of finding and procuring the Eye of Truth. Minister, it is time. Yes, Your Majesty.
Here you are. What's this? Carry this emblem with you and meet with the kings of each country. This emblem is proof that you possess the truth about the Eye of Truth. <laughs> Alright, so we now have the Vaughn Emblem! Come back here once you have gathered the information from the other kingdoms. Then, and only then, will I share with you our own nation's secret. I will right. also grant you this Book of Techniques. I hope it will aid you in your travels. I wish you the best of luck. Obtain the Four Beasts SFT. Thank you, sir. What do you think about what the king had to say, Captain? I don't know. Those Mu'a are something, all right. The people that formed the old race, you mean? They sound a bit like this world's take on Adam and Eve, don't they? Yeah, I suppose they do. In a world like this one, where mystical power exists as if it's nothing at all, the existence of gods may not be so strange either. And if you look at it from an Earth perspective, the way that the Mu'a simply came into being is not much unlike the way we just suddenly appeared in this world. At least that's how people here would see it. True enough, but then again, this is a place where a demon world actually exists, where monsters exist, for that matter. Wouldn't take a major leap of faith to believe that gods exist, too. Well, I've lived on Earth all my life, and I've never run into anything like that. <laughs> yeah, well, neither have I, really. Well, whenever people in the past encountered something they couldn't understand, they usually labeled it the work of the supernatural. If the event was a good thing, it was the blessings of the gods. If it hurt them, it was the cruel workings of demons and devils. That's right. That's how concepts such as religion and salvation came about. Agreed. Earth was no exception. Medieval Europeans used to tell tales of a monster that blinked into existence with a loud rumbling and burned away everything in his path with a flash of blinding light. Can you guess what that monster really was? What? Lightning. Oh. There's still a staggering amount we don't know about the universe we live in. What did they call it? Symbology? That healing power Millie has? It's a bit astonishing, to be honest. And yet I'm sure there's some way to explain it scientifically. You really don't believe the king, do you, Elia? Can you blame me? Not really, no. Well, if I just accept all these supernatural beings and phenomena at face value, well, I'd feel like I'm betraying myself a little. True. We'd never advance as a civilization if we did that. Besides... Besides what? If you keep telling yourself that everything is a simple matter of fate, you start feeling like life itself is so trite, somehow. Are you talking about your wife, Captain? Yeah. It was a disease with no known cause, Captain. I know it was a terrible loss for you, but there was nothing modern medical science could have done for her. Yeah, but you know, what if it turned out the symbology they have here was all they needed to cure her? I'm sure I'd be kicking myself over it for the rest of my life. Please don't do this to yourself, Captain. Remember the virus that Lazonia unleashed upon planet Roke? Millie herself told us that symbology couldn't do a thing to keep it from spreading. <sighs> you can't torture yourself over it your whole life, Captain. But then again, I'm sure telling you that won't help much, will it? This journey's been an interesting one. If we keep it up, I'm sure I'll find the answer soon enough. But now we should hit the sack. All right. Good night, Captain. I'm sorry, Elia.
Morning. Sleep well? Yes, fairy. Do you remember what we're supposed to do now? As long as we're all on the same page. No need to worry. Our task at hand is to visit the kings of each kingdom, right? Right. Don't forget to show them the emblem. Got it. Let's roll out. Right. Oh, there's a chest. Spectacles acquired. Can't go in there. Ah. Right. Zoi Handa. Right, so we need one of those, one of these. Quarter staff, long bow, water orb, fuzzy handy stick. <laughs> Silver robe, kung fu top, shallon top, fashionable bikini, a uh, night shield, plate grease. I think that's all we need to buy. Oh, it's equipment has been easy. It is, uh, Mavels and Cs's. Alright, sent. Right, technical free. Oh, already have that and combat free. Right. Alright, Mavel only has 97. Right, Millie, 125. Joshua, Rodix, we can't really do much with. Yes, I'm not bothering with. Oh.
Alright. Let's sell stuff. Oh, that's probably the reason why we didn't use that because, well... Yeah, chicken shish kebab! Mm, sell that, sell that, sell that. And we're actually, uh... <laughs> yeah, because that's just a wall. And we're already over an hour. Let's say we head on. So we've got four ki four kingdoms to actually. Uh... Thank you very much. Well, there you go. Right. We're surrounded. Enemies. Gravity crash. Thank you for the hundred ton weight, uh, Millie. And I think Ilya managed to uh, get the last hit in there. This should be a good test of skill. Let's get this over with fast. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, haste did absolutely nothing for Mavel. So I won't have any regrets later. Well, it's long dark crystal. And I think I'm going to be pulling Mavel out because she now seems to be. Uh, Identification? Does emblem work for you? Oh, a Van Kingdom emblem. That works for me, yeah. You may pass.
Okay, so, uh... Right, let's, um... We seem to be at full health across the board. So, let's save. Enemies! We're surrounded! And Midi, before you do anything else, please cure Mavel. That was way too fast. Combo link acquired. Yep, really sorry, Mavel, but you're out. I can feel the power flowing. Excuse me, uh, tactics replace Mavel with Ronix. And I think I've already set up his, uh, yeah. Okay, Ronix. Let's have a look at your, um... Oh, right. It says attack with your MP. Uh, spread out an attack. Green barrel. Got us flanked. We're surrounded. Gravity crush. Runix, what in the Sam Hill are you doing? have a competent person in this team. Uh, Grand World Cup date is live. Well, thank you. Uh, Alright, let's try it this way. Come back. Medicine bottle acquired. Huh, let's see. 
This is tough. Keep focused, everyone. Meteor! Problem! Crash! Ten ton hammer. Ten ton, ten ton weight. But we're getting a heck of a lot of experience from these. They're getting a lot of experience. <laughs> Let's go. Here they come. There we go, and that's all done. <laughs> yep, we have a Duris. We're somehow managing right now, but I don't think we'll last a minute against a full on attack. Refuge for the Lonely. Hmm. Alright. Item Shop, the Empty Potion. Uh, Vicula packing up and leaving. Empty house. Gonna make a whole bunch of snowmen. Weapon shop, the rusty dagger. Yeah, long sword, sabre, two handed sword, rod. Handy stick! <laughs> a stick with a hand at the end! This has a tend this has a that has a tendency to poke and jab people. <laughs> yeah. All the stuff that they have is uh Well, I mean these are actually good for y for Eosha and Mavel. So we might as well get some boots. That actually ups Mavel's defense by one whole point! <laughs> Gee! Right, so this village has suffered at the hands of the monsters. Oh, there was another building here. 
Lynn and the mom and dad went away somewhere. Yeah, uh, this one has, has taken the brunt of the monster attacks, and several of the people, several of the villagers have either died or um, have decided to pack up their things and go. And considering it is now quarter past seven. I think what I'm going to do, even though we've probably only been at this, oh, we've only been at this over an hour, about an hour and twenty. Think I am going to end the stream for today. Let me just exit out of PPSSPP and right. <sighs> well, that is going to be it for today while I just wait for the controller to power down. And, well. <sighs> Alright. Oh. As I said, right, well, on these uh, things that the interview I actually had on the Tuesday, well. Unfortunately, I decided not to take that job. Partly because, well, one, even though it was only mostly packing sandwiches and rats, or picking them, packing them, there are a few issues. One, hours. It's 40, it was a 40 hour minimum. And I would have to do overtime on the on the more pop on the more well I think it's the more yes when they actually get more orders in and that can actually go up to 12 hours a day and well I'm not really interested in doing 12 hours a day if it ends up being constant out of the five days from seven and it's done. Because all that'll do all that'll mean is I come back, I fall into bed, I go to sleep. And I don't have I can't do nothing much else. The other issue is well, unfortunately with my current with my current physical condition I can't really lift anything that's extremely heavy, and heck, I think that goes down to I think that weight goes down to about three kilos. Especially since uh, last week I was hauling uh, six bottles of six one liter bottles of UHT milk in one hand, and three kilos. Well, uh, I think about three point two kilos. So it was two point. Two times one point six five kilo bags of sugar, plus I think a few other items that I'd actually purchased, and even swapping from swapping hand to ha from hand to hand. Well, didn't really help much. So, uh, and some of the stuff I'd have to pick is by the case and not single items. And a few, and one of those items that I actually noticed was a very sizable case of 330 ml bottles of cola. So yeah, that could easily uh, take me out. And the other thing is, after that interview, I had to go. Up, I had to go up to Shore Trust again because I still had an appointment, and well. Got there, they said, no, nope, you can go. That was it. Came back, sorted a few, got, got everything, got all the 
garbage and that cleared out the bag. Decided wasn't in the mood to be cooking, so went out to the local shops to buy a few things. Came back, unpacked the bag, put it all down, sat down on my bed, and I got a massive sense of discomfort down me down me middle to lower back, straight down the spine. Uh, so, and oh, since I've been a little bit uh, on the uh, having this having a uh, discomfort and all that. Yesterday, I just decided that I should go straight to the doctor's. I've got a appointment book that's, well, not until next week, but yeah. Especially with standing up for that amount of time, I do not think I'd be able to cope. So I decided to withdraw my application as they said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'd like you to work for our company, but... You have to be there at half past nine today. Unfortunately, yeah. I was not in the mood to be doing another early wake up, so yeah. And I'm also going to be taking warehouse stuff out of my usual job search routine. <sighs> but yeah, that means Saturday at hopefully at five o'clock, as long as we don't, as long as I don't end up having any issues, we will be going back to Soul Worker with Stella and Chi. Well, Stella Saturday, Chi Sunday. So and oh, Jive should still be streaming. Yep. <sighs> right, so let's. Uh, I should be able to just select it, and yeah, because he's doing DCS World ca base captures on the Fulia veteran server. Uh, well, that's something I won't be doing for a while because, well, I'm going to need to get the get a proper computer running. Plus, I am going to need a proper joystick because this is not going to cut it. That really depends on if I do decide to start doing DCS more serious, serious take do do more serious DCS stuff. So yeah, um, as I said, I will be back on Saturday at 5 p.m. Hopefully. To continue the soul work stuff. So this is the Blighty Otaku signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you later.